the moment. Ah, oh, Jesus. Welcome to the second game of the preseason. The most intense time in the NFL season, the preseason. And guess where we're at tonight? Fox Bowl. Mass. I can't pronounce. Shoot. I see. I can't even pronounce it. We are taking on the Patriots. You saw my quarterback getting ready right there. Getting ready with that number eight. Hopefully, we get a little bit more better play out of my quarterback in this game. Taking on the Patriots, the New England Patriots, man. Tom Brady, a team that I hated with all my guts at one point in my life. I did hate them a lot until last season. Not this season. Not this season. Just it happened. No, the last one. The Tebow Mania season. You know, the Tebow Mania. I did not like the Patriots one bit. I used to... No, because look, look what they've done to my team, man. They, they, they. You know, we couldn't beat them in the Super Bowl. All right, all right. You know, I, I used to hate the Patriots. I'll give you that much. You know, I always thought about it. I thought about. It. I hope they lose. I hope the Patriots lose. I hope they lose. I really hope they. It's like those teams in sports that you go against because you don't want to see them win. Like my team, or I, I never want to see Alabama, Florida, or Notre Dame win. In college football, those teams I never want to see win. In the NBA, now it's the Miami who who, are, who I never want to see win. And in the NFL, it was the Patriots. And now I think it's a uh, I don't have a team that I don't want to see win. I don't like every team in the NFL. They're all right, except the Cowboys, the Redskins, and the Giants. Fuck y'all. <laughs> you know, I'm just saying that's just the, those are the teams I hate to go. You know, those are the teams I hate. Like in baseball, I don't want to see the Dodgers win. Fuck you. I know I'm from Los Angeles. That doesn't mean everyone who's in Los Angeles goes for the freaking Dodgers. There's people that go for the Angels and actually believe the team is from Los Angeles, even though we're still in Anaheim. It doesn't make any sense, but it's the way it rolls, man. It's the way it goes. And look at this play right here. I hate these plays. I don't know why they call it, but I guess it works a little bit. Gets us one yard. Mm, not that great enough, but eh, I've seen better. I've seen better in the, the, the kindergarten kindergartners playing them at it. Look at that. They tell me, run the ball to McCoy. I said, okay. And McCoy says, you know what? I give you a couple yards. That right there was my number one pick in my fantasy draft. We finished third place. First third place in the, the fantasy football league. So, you know, it's not bad. But it's, Oh, not another pick. Another pick. I'm pick city right now. You know, you want to get, get a pick? Just, just play against me. You'll be feeling good about yourself. One minute and 37 seconds. Oh, the game's like... All right, I'll give you another chance to redeem yourself. It's giving me two chances already to redeem myself because we're still 1-0-0. Zero, zero. The defense holding down. Oh, dear God. Sex is what's going on here, man. What's that, three picks already? My God, I can't throw anything worth to save my life, man. I, you see, I'm done throwing the ball. I might just switch my position to running back. I'm done here. I'm done being a quarterback. I can't be a QB. I, I'm, I'm scared. No, I don't want to be a, a running back. Uh, here we go, here we go. Avant, Avant. Here we go. We got it. We got it. We got a touchdown. Oh, shit. Shake it, baby. Shake it, baby. Shake that. Hey, hey, hey. Whoa. Okay, it's preseason. I understand. But look at Jason Avant, man. This guy, Terrell Owens' number. That's the old number of Terrell Owens. Remember that? I remember the first time I saw him play. I think it was against the Green Bay Packers. I think that was his rookie game, and he actually got a couple catches. I was like, "Holy shit, this guy's gonna be huge!" But you know what? He's just been—he's been one of those receivers that was just—that's just there on the team. He's reliable because you know he'll make that—that that one catch that changes the game. But last season he hasn't done it. Or the season before, no, but he's—he's. He's, I like him. I like Jason Avant. You know, not—not not a big highlight player, but I like the guy, and I would take him in my fantasy football league if we were that you know are we needed that much depth at the wide receiver spot but we have two wide receivers in the flex so we really don't need much on the wide receiver depth you know so we're good right there but looks like we get the, i don't know did we get the one or did we lose i don't know either way it doesn't matter it's just preseason ball so you know we we're just walking oh, yeah, at least i got a touchdown through a couple interceptions a couple you fuck you through three dumb shit and okay i got i still got that that incredible touchdown pass to jason lamont thank you 
it was it was all Avon who did all the work. I just threw the ball at him, you know. That's that's what I'm saying at the post game, you know, when they're like, you know what? I just threw the ball. I didn't run the I don't know, you know what? It's quarterbacks get too much credit. Anyways, we lose the game, so that's gonna suck butt in the in the end of it all. It's gonna suck a lot of butt, but but you know what? I did not lose my confidence. I will still be the starting quarterback of the Philadelphia Eagles by regular season time. Good sir. I do not fear the fear of being the bench player. I do not feel fear of sitting on the bench and warming that chair for the next quarterback to sit down so he can have a warm chair to sit his ass on after he's been on the ground on his ass after being tackled by a big guy with a giant ass. Why am I talking about asses? I don't know. But thank you guys for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you want to see more. Peace the f out.